does it look weird when people talk to you with earpods on like does it feel like you can't hear them and they can't hear you like that looks strange doesn't it i need to take these out while i speak to you don't i good morning we're gonna do some fun stuff today and i'm doing this fun stuff alone so you're gonna come with me <laughs> because otherwise i'll feel like a loner <laughs> anyway need to go and do some errands and before i go i'm gonna show you my outfit does anyone else feel like hair ties totally ruin outfits i know it's so small but I need to take it off because, oh, let's take it off here. Because it totally ruins outfits, doesn't it? Look, now that looks better. Got my little Sunday somewhere, sunglasses on top. My favorite Dior earrings. This necklace, which is by Sorry, which I love, it's so beautiful. And then a new dress on, which is actually kind of navy, but it's showing up almost black. It's by a brand called Allison. My Chanel bag and my white Malone Souvier flats. What are you doing? Cheeky monkey. Cheeky monkey. <laughs> Glasses are going on. First time I'm wearing these new ones. What do we think? I am going to the King's Road this morning. I'm gonna go to a few places actually with like a few errands that I wanna do. I wanna go to Zara. I wanna go to Lululemon. Where else do I wanna go? A couple places just like Generally, I need to go to Boots. You know one of those days where you just need to do a few more errands? At the moment, I'm working out a lot, a lot, a lot. And I am literally sweating through all my gym clothes really, really fast. <laughs> and I literally can't wash them fast enough. I need to get a few more like sports bras, things like that. My boobs have kind of shrunk, so my sports bras are a little bit too big for me. Like random little errands and things. Gosh, it's so hot. I'm in this black coat and it's quite thick and I need to take it off because it is boiling. I'm like schwitzing. Honestly, I'm much more of an online shopper than anything else. As you know, I love online shopping. I'm much more like have it delivered to my house kind of vibes. But with sportswear, I just find sportswear hard to get right. I also want to go actually totally off topic here and have a look at some bridesmaid dresses as well and see if I can find anything or any inspiration I basically found a dress that I love but it's about four times the budget that I have for bridesmaid dresses so <laughs> that means either cutting out like half my bridesmaids <laughs> for the dress or finding a similar one hopefully it's actually really quiet in London at the moment oh yeah this is what I was saying it was basically that I don't really love shopping in store as much as I love shopping online like I much prefer shopping online I would say like 95% online but 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 it is Easter oh that's a loud guy it's Easter holidays right now so most people are away I would say so hopefully it'll be a little quieter on the King's Road today Wow, look how pretty all the petals are on the floor. Oh, I don't want the pink to ever leave. So nice, I love the weather. Anyway, I'm gonna go into Lululemon. There's quite a big store right at the beginning of the King's Road. That is my first stop of the day. I'm trying to find some cute workout clothes. I wrote down all my, um, oh my God, I just had a notification. Oh, you can't really hear me. I just had a notification on my phone for uh, my French app <laughs> to remind me to do my French exercises today. Do I feel bold enough in a workout class to wear bright orange? Probably not. Let's go to the black. <laughs> ignore my necklace I have this very cute sports bra on but even though I sized up on it I just think it's too booby to go to the gym so not getting that but I like this very simple gray top and I'm not sure when I think about these pink leggings they kind of give me a major camel toe first of all <laughs> the pink I don't know what it is about colored leggings and I think they're just too pink if that makes sense like they're just not very I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about baby pink workout leggings. Maybe it's this color of pink. I just find them not so flattering. Also, they're quite tight. Like you can see all the muscles in my knees. I feel like that's pink. Like that doesn't happen to me in black leggings. <laughs> 
feel like it's the lighter color. See, now that's better. Look how cool these leggings are. They have details all down the side. I kind of want to get them in gray as well. And then I've paired it with this little crop top. You see how black, I just, and now I don't have a camel toe and you can't see the weird details of my knees. Not that I have a knee complex, but I don't know. I just felt like very exposed in pink leggings for some reason. But this top is very cute. It has a little drawstring at the back, which is really cool. Love this sweatshirt. It's super super cozy and comfy and then it has a little tie around in the middle I'm tr always trying to get my sweatshirts to look like that, but this one actually comes like that. It's so cute Okay, trying on this bra. Oh my god. Can you see that hint of ab there? Oh, I moved and it came up. Was that a shadow or an ab? No, wait. It's a it's an ab Is it? <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, I think of it. I think it is shadow? I can't. I can't. Is it? Wait. Is it an app? Oh, I think it was a shadow. Oh, shame. Oh no, it's back. Oh, I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay. No, look, that's a shadow, isn't it? Oh, shame. Oh no, wait, it's there. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I'm trying on this bra, which I really like actually. It has just like a plain strap down the back. I don't love bras that hold things too much here because I actually find that I get a really bad neck from them. And then trying these plain blue leggings with them as well. They're more like the runner leggings and they really like suck you in. They're really nice. I'm ready to go. Buy a few things. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. I did some good work in Lululemon and now I'm gonna go into Zara and then I'm gonna get on with bridesmaid dresses. Oh my gosh, look at this dog. Oh, such a cute little doggy. Look at him. Anyway, I haven't been to Zara in ages and I always do this thing with Zara when I go online and I add loads of stuff to my basket. Hold on, sorry, my water was just falling. Yeah, I add loads of stuff to my basket and then I never check out. I don't know why. I do that quite a bit, but majority with Zara. I just feel like I go a bit crazy when I go into Zara or when I go on Zara online and I always need to remember to be a bit afraid. But this is one of my favorite parts of the King's Road. It's not technically on the King's Road, but it's this like beautiful little compound off the road full of shops, restaurants, everyone's sitting outside. It's one of my favorite, favorite little corners of Chelsea. Hello, florals. If anyone's looking for a great dupe of my Ganny top. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's literally cinnamon vibes. It looks kind of see-through though. You can see the hang of through it. I was already refrained in Zara. You'll be happy to know I bought one dress, which is actually a similar dress to that brown Zara dress I wore loads. And it's actually, they brought it out kind of similar, but in yellow and with short sleeves this season. So I got that and that was it. Oh, it's windy. Now I'm gonna go and hunt for bridesmaid dresses. I don't really know where to start. I think I'm just gonna wander around the King's Road and have a look. When I was younger, the first time I ever went out alone, I'm doing it in quotes because that time it was such a big deal to like go shopping alone or go out with your friends and my friend Ali and I came to the King's Road. It took months of me convincing my mom to let me go shopping by myself. Anyway, we came to the King's Road and I had to like text her when we were there and when we were home and whatever. And I remember coming out of a shop. I can't remember, I think it was the body shop. And seeing my mom literally a hundred meters away and being so embarrassed and so mortified, I like pretended I didn't see her because I knew she was basically stalking me because she didn't want me to like, go shopping by myself. <laughs> and it wasn't even like shopping, it was like, we just wanted, you know when you're, I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but we just wanted to be able to go out by ourselves. And I felt like all my friends in my year were allowed to go out by themselves away before me. And then I was so mortified and I was so upset with my mum because I really wanted to like go out alone and be really independent. And then there she was, a hundred meters behind me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now every time I'm here, I kind of think of that story. And if any other first children can relate, I tried so hard to get my mum to let me go out alone. And then when it came to Hannah, she was just like allowed out, no problem. Didn't even have to ask 
didn't have to text 85 times to let her know she'd taken three steps left. Any other eldest children can relate to this. <laughs> Fighting so hard. And then the second child was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Go out alone. I'm used to this now. The glasses came on because I was doing some serious, serious bridesmaid dresses situation and I actually bought three in three different colors but I didn't want to show them just because it might spoil it and I need Hannah to like them first so I'm gonna go home and hopefully she can try them on when she's back from work. How funny is this card? I mean bag. Got a card for someone I'm thanking obviously. <laughs> I thought it was really cute with little googly eyes. I'm now at Chelsea Green and I am going to have a look at one of my favorite shops. It is a secondhand designer shop and they're really quite exclusive. It's not like Vestia Collective in the way that they're really exclusive with what they take on and they only take on things that are amazing quality and in really, really good condition. Um, whereas when you're shopping online, like on Vestia, they can, oh, it's so windy, they can have a big variety of stuff. Hang on this little Mimu coat. It's a bit pinker than it's coming up, but it has this gorgeous little bow at the front which you can tie it's a little bit long for me i think i would need to get it altered look at the back it has a little crochet detail on it isn't that pretty it's a really cute coat isn't it little roxander dress it's a tiny bit long on me i think but i love the different colors together and the shapes it's time for me to head on home just as i was about to leave i saw these beautiful dior pumps Everything in there is displayed so nicely. I've done a blog post on it before, so if you want to know a bit more detail and have a bit more of a nosy around the store and how it's actually laid out, because it's not laid out like a second-hand store, if that makes sense. It's laid out like a proper shop, and you would actually have no idea walking in there. It's just so beautiful. And if you want to see it and have a better look around the store and how they actually lay stuff out, then take a look at that. I'll link it down below. There are a few customers in there today and I didn't really want to like intrude on their time and their shopping. It's not a huge store, so I didn't want to like get in their grill with my, with my vlog camera. So many pieces that I have that are such staples for me, I've found there. I absolutely love it. And I know that when I'm going there, it's much more secure for me than I feel like shopping for secondhand stuff online or for pre-loved as people call it now because I know that they are so particular in the quality and I know the girls in there and I know that they're really good at checking it through. Sometimes online with buying pre-used items I wonder if like they're real or if they're fake whereas the girls in there I know that they go through serious quality control and I feel like I can because I can see them it sounds so weird but because I see them and I know them I feel like it's different whereas like online like I don't I don't know who's checking it do you know what I mean that sounds so weird but it's like in some sort of cloud somewhere I don't know someone's checking if this item is real or not but so many beautiful things I've bought from there I got my Max Mara coat the camel one that I wear all the time from there what else did I get I bought like an acne dress that if you remember back in the day I had this blue long sleeve round neck acne dress and wore that all the time bought that there as well anyway I'm so excited about my new workout clothes I feel like I've really gotten into looking after myself better recently I always work out I feel like I'm always doing some sort of exercise but I've amped it up much more recently first of all because I want to be really fit for the wedding I like the way my body looks now I don't feel like I need to lose any weight or tone up that much I would quite like abs but like it's a really not essential for me to get married and have abs like that's nothing to do with the wedding it's just like quite cool to be able to look in the mirror and be like oh I have an ab <laughs> I'll just take one I don't I don't need six <laughs> anyway I just kind of want to get really fit and be able to dance and not get out of breath obviously I'll be wearing a dress and at the engagement party I was wearing quite a heavy dress and I just felt like kind of not out of breath when I was dancing but I definitely felt like tired throughout the night like at, at little points whenever I would stop I'd like get be like oh my gosh I'm actually like my body kind of hurts from dancing because I'm not used to doing that much cardio so I definitely want to get my fitness up so that I can dance 
dance all night long at the wedding. We're not gonna be one of those people that get married and the music ends at one or something. Sorry to any of our guests, but it's going all night long. No offense, no offense. If you like music that ends at one, sometimes I do too. I like a good early night, but I love dancing more than anything. So yeah, that's just mainly why. And then the other reason why I've been working so much on my fitness and my health is I went to this Tony Robbins conference and he literally did a whole, if you don't know him by the way, he's like a motivational speaker. He did a whole section on health and how much it affects everything in your body, like your immune system, your functioning, your mentality, like absolutely everything is related to your fitness and your health. So it's really, really important. And I totally agree with him when I'm working out, I do feel like my best self and I feel like I've almost like done something with my day. I feel more positive. It definitely is true what they say about endorphins. At the moment, I'm doing loads of different workouts, really trying to keep it spiced up. But my favorite by far is definitely Louisa Drake. Oh my gosh, she is hands down the best trainer I've ever, ever had in my life. I wish I could see her every single day. I love her. Her sessions go so quickly, not once in any of her workouts have I thought, I wonder what the time is. Whereas like any workout, I always think, I wonder what the time is or like I wonder how long this goes I just don't have time to think about that in her classes because I'm just enjoying them so much but maybe I'll do more of a fitness update or something video soon with like actually what we do in the classes because that might be useful for some people especially now I'm wondering like I'm traveling uh, quite a bit the next couple of weeks I'm going away this week and then next week and so I'm wondering how I'll actually keep up with my working out when I'm there. There is a gym in both hotels that we're gonna be staying at, I did have checked, but I still, I don't know, sometimes I need someone to kind of guide me or do something a bit motivational. And also Rob still can't work out because of his knee. So I'll kind of be going to the gym alone. And I feel like when I go alone to the gym, normally I skive and I like do half of what I'm supposed to do. So let's see. <laughs> I'll report back what I actively do in the gym when I'm away. Now, there was a really big queue at Zara for the changing room so I opted out of that but actually not sure what I think about this dress now what do you think Ugh, I put it on and I'm like oh gosh my brown one is so much nicer I feel like they've added much more fabric this time the other one had a little like crisscross at the front sorry I ignore my red bra strap but can't really take it off hmm I mean once the bra comes off it's not going back on is it so I might as well just keep it on for now yeah this is a no from me let's try and see what it looked like if it was off shoulder oh that's even worse okay that is a no from me this is going back they did have loads of really cute bright stuff in at the moment but I don't know I just only really loved this and I loved it off the hanger not I mean, I loved it on the hanger, not off the hanger. So this is going to be returned. I feel like also the other one I have is really short and maybe comes like up to here. And this one is a lot longer. Time means time for a snack. Banoffee mulberries, they're so good. They're like chocolate, but without the bad of the chocolate. Well, just less bad, not still great. Does anyone else sit on the floor of their kitchen when they eat? No, just me. It's really weird that sitting by the snack cupboard is like my happy place. <sighs> okay, I'm done now. I made a little letter porte order last night. You can tell I'm feeling very spendy at the moment. Oh, the sunlight is kind of nice. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I ordered. I ordered a couple of things. One being some new sunglasses. Now, I ordered these wondering if they would look similar to the Sunday somewhere ones I was wearing today so we can be the judge together ooh they're all crystally cute right ooh hello hello what do you think they're not the same are they they're totally different right what do we think I need to kind of see in a mirror properly to be able to tell oh my gosh look how crystally and pretty they are Hmm, I kind of like them. I never really wear brown sunglasses like this. Either wear like reflective or silver. I don't love sunglasses where you can see your eyes inside because sometimes I wear sunglasses to spy on people. You know what I'm saying? Like see some one at the beach. I was gonna say some guy and then I was like, oh crap, I'm engaged. <laughs> can't, <laughs> can't be checking out some guy even though, are we all? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm actually, in all seriousness, I'm the person that checks out girls and I look at their outfits and I'm like, oh, 
they're cool i would be friends with them anyway does anyone else do that and be like oh my god i love that girl's outfit i'm gonna copy her my mom and i did that in milan the other day what was my point oh yeah normally i put on sunglasses to spy on people but now i wouldn't be able to do that you know and you know what else when you're in a boring conversation you put on your sunglasses and people don't know that you're not mentally there you know do you know what i'm saying you can put them on and you could have your eyes closed behind the sunglasses and be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah tim great story but no one would know whereas this is like you have to be fully in focus or you know when you're in a conversation or not really there and you're kind of looking around like someone please save me from this combo how do i get an exit out of this combo that is another reason why i like thick sunglasses without the without the see-through part because what if i want to be looking around being like sos get me out of here and i can't you can tell i'm a very social person after that rant do i keep the sunglasses <laughs> probably not the reason why I wanted to go to Lululemon today was because first I went on Netta Porte to see what they had and they were sold out in basically everything Nike that I liked. So that means that I needed to go to the store, but I did find a few things that I wanted to try on, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them. Look how cute these leggings are. Three color leggings. This is by a brand, ooh, it's so softy soft. This is by a brand called We Me. So I'm gonna try those. I don't know if I need any more gym clothes after today though, to be honest, I went wild in Lululemon. Oh, this is an Alice McCall top that I really liked and I wanted to get. It's like a little wrap top. I can't really show you right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go, people. Great demonstration. Come again. Oh my God, this is so funny. This is basically the top version of the jumper version that I bought today by Weemi as well. With the little knot in the middle, cute. See, I like things that come pre-knotted. You might have seen on my Instagram stories the other day when I went to go see Louisa, I knotted my top with a hair tie didn't look so cute. This is the matching sports bra. Oh my gosh, a good tie. To the leggings. I don't like these long sports bras because my torso is not that long and then it basically comes down to my belly button. So let me try that on. I wanted to see if the set would work for me, but we shall see. So yeah, I got four things. Should I try it on? Should I? Shall I? Shall I? You know when you're in your cozy clothes, you can't be bothered to change first world problems. I just love being in my cozy clothes, what can I tell you? Oh no, I bought five things, including sunglasses. There is a shopaholic mentality. When you just miss things that you bought. <laughs> what did I tell you about long sports bras and high-waisted leggings? Normal people wouldn't have at least that much skin in between, but Amelia has that much, and if she's slouching, no skin at all, so. <laughs> gonna return at the top I think because the leggings are really sweet and actually mega mega comfortable but I don't know if I need another pair of leggings I can't decide if I should just return both I much prefer the mesh ones that I got from Lululemon today what do you think Pia just walked in and said that I have an ab she was literally like oh my god you have an ab and I was like no it's just squeezing the top really close together the top is just squeezing everything <laughs> what do we think of this top it's a little bit gray no a little bit gray, it's a bit of a gray gray. It's a sweat patch kind of gray. Like as soon as you got hot and sweaty in this top, it would be a bit see-through. But if you're doing yoga and a good old, good old knee, quad, something stretch, then it would work. I think it's kind of cute. I also, I like having my shoulders covered for some reason when I work out. Mmm, sun. Not gonna lie, this is really, oh, here's Hannah. She can see the bridesmaid dresses, Goji. Hey, I want you to see the bridesmaid dresses. Do you have time? Yeah, Yay. And by the way, I'm returning the leggings and the top. I feel like the fit of the Lululemon stuff is much, much better on me. For this sun. This sun. I'm loving it. That is everything for this Come Shopping With Me video. I am going to have a packing evening. Where is this not shadow? Nowhere. Yeah, I'm going to pack this evening ready to go away and keep it pretty chilled. I'm going to paint my nails that kind of thing so if you aren't already subscribed please do subscribe because i would love to have you join me if you don't know i upload three times a week tuesday thursday and sunday as well so there's always lots of stuff going up over here and if you miss me in the meantime you can follow me on instagram it's just at amelia liana so i will see you over there Mwah. bye guys